Welcome marble racing enthusiasts to the inaugural season of the Marhala Tournament. I'm your host, David, and we're kicking off season one with a bang here in the vibrant city of Berlin. We've got an international lineup of 65 countries, each ready to roll their way to glory on Berlin's dynamic track. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the frosty winter wonderland of Berlin for the first leg of our Marhala Tournament. I'm ready to take you on a snowy journey down one of the most spectacular marble racetracks we've ever seen. Imagine a pristine blanket of snow covering the entire course. It's a chilly January day here in Berlin, and the snowflakes are dancing in the air, adding a layer of challenge and excitement to our race. The track is lined with majestic fir trees, some still decked out in their Christmas finery from last month. These trees aren't just for show. They're strategic obstacles that will test our marble's agility and precision. Watch as the marbles swerve and weave through this festive forest. But wait, there's more. Giant, colorful gift boxes are scattered throughout the course. These aren't your average obstacles. They're unpredictable, and our marbles will have to navigate around them carefully. Will they be a help or a hindrance? Only time will tell. And let's not forget the beautifully snow-covered fountains. Once sources of water, now they're icy traps and slippery slopes. Our marbles will need to muster all their control to avoid getting caught in these chilly hazards. The course is full of other surprises too. From hidden dips and sudden turns to unexpected jumps, each element is designed to keep both the marbles and you on the edge of your seats. Wrap up warm and get ready for an epic race through the snowy streets of Berlin. With each marble bringing its own strategy and style to this winter playground, who knows what exciting twists and turns we'll witness today. Stay tuned for a race that promises to be as unpredictable as it is exhilarating. And remember, it's not just about speed, it's about strategy, precision, and a little bit of winter magic. Let the marbles roll and may the best country win. Bolivia just thundered through the finish line with an electrifying time of 167.21 seconds, clinching the first place in style. Right behind, we had Argentina, showing some serious flair at 168.53 seconds. Romania, not to be outdone, rolled into a respectable third with 169.11 seconds, and Hungary, with a smooth and steady strategy, landed in fourth at 170.27 seconds. What a sizzling start to our tournament. The stakes are high and the excitement is palpable. Here's how it works. At the end of each lap, we'll wave goodbye to the slowest 10 countries. But that's not all. There's a twist in the tail. Points are up for grabs in every lap. The first place finisher in each lap gets a whopping 20 points. 2nd place earns 10 points, 3rd place bags 8 points, 4th place snags 6 points, and 5th place takes home 4 points. And don't forget, places 6 to 15 aren't left empty-handed, they each earn 1 point. This point system keeps the competition fierce and the suspense high. Hold on to your hats. Round 2 has taken the excitement up a notch. New Zealand, with a whirlwind performance, zoomed into first place, clocking a lightning fast 126.33 seconds. Mexico wasn't far behind, securing second place with a time of 127.75 seconds. Liechtenstein, the small but mighty contender, grabbed third place at 128.87 seconds. Cuba and Chile, in a nail-biting finish, landed 4th and 5th, separated by a mere whisker at 129.19 and 129.23 seconds respectively. What a round! We 
want you to be a part of this thrilling journey. Have any burning questions or brilliant suggestions? Drop them in the comments. Your voice matters in the world of marble racing. And it gets even better. Head over to marhala.com to vote for your favorite country for the next season. Which country will you cheer for? Your vote could be the game changer. Let's add a sprinkle of your creativity. Suggest future host cities in the comments. Dream big. Think of places that could add an extra layer of excitement to our races. Round 3 has been nothing short of a roller coaster. Slovakia, with a masterful display of speed and control, took the top spot at 130.21 seconds. Australia, hot on their heels, finished a close second at 130.25 seconds. Costa Rica, showing impressive agility, rolled into third with a time of 130.39 seconds. And let's not forget Finland sneaking into fourth place at 130.63 seconds. This round was a tight race from start to finish. The excitement in round 4 is off the charts. Hungary, bouncing back with a vengeance, claimed first place with a blistering 122.32 seconds. Italy, with their classic finesse, glided into second at 125.04 seconds. Bulgaria wasn't far behind, securing a solid third place at 125.98 seconds. And let's hear it for Dominica and Poland finishing 4th and 5th with times of 126.68 and 126.80 seconds, respectively. This round was a true testament to skill and strategy.
And just when we thought it couldn't get any more thrilling, round 5 happened. Taiwan, in a spectacular show of speed, raced to first place with a time of 135.49 seconds. Ireland, in an epic photo finish, tied with Australia for second and third place, both clocking in at 138.71 seconds. What are the odds? Latvia showed their racing prowess, landing in fourth at 139.93 seconds, while Hungary, consistent as ever, rounded out the top five with 140.09 seconds. Talk about a heart-pounding round! Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary conclusion to our Berlin leg of the Marhalla tournament. Let's dive into the final standings and the points our top contenders have amassed. Both Belarus and Italy, with a tie at 13 points each, showed commendable efforts. Their strategies and maneuvers throughout the race were noteworthy, contributing to an exciting competition. Ireland, with their grit and resilience, managed to secure 17 points. Australia, with their consistent performances, bagged 19 points. Their tie with Ireland in round 5 was a memorable moment, showcasing their competitive spirit. Taiwan, matching Slovakia's score, also stands tall with 21 points. Their stunning first-place finish in round 5 was a highlight, marking them as a team with great potential. New Zealand gathered a respectable 22 points. Their performance in round 2 was a highlight, showcasing their potential as a formidable contender in the races to come. Cuba, with their dynamic and spirited racing style, clinches third place with a commendable 27 points. Their performance was a blend of speed and precision, a joy to watch. Bolivia, the surprise powerhouse of the tournament, has secured second place with an impressive 30 points. Their swift and agile maneuvers on the track left everyone in awe. A well-deserved podium finish. Hungary, the sensational story of this race. With a strategic and consistent performance across rounds, they've topped the charts with a magnificent 34 points. Truly, a masterclass in marble racing. What a thrilling event we've witnessed in Berlin. Each country brought its unique style and strategy, 
making this tournament not just a race, but a celebration of skill, speed, and sportsmanship. Congratulations to all the countries for their outstanding performances, and a big thank you to our audience for joining us in this marble racing extravaganza. Stay tuned for more high-octane action as we roll on to the next city in the Marhala tournament. Until then, keep the marble spirit rolling.